in some ways, I actually prefer the faded rose to the fresh rose. Hi, this is Margaret Bird and welcome to Color Quest. Today as we look at one final tutorial on red roses, you will see how we can take some super faded flowers from a bouquet and turn them into some very subtle hues in the dye pot. We're also going to look at how we can use a new substrate with dyes and that is with paper. So today's video will include in exploration into what red rose dye looks if we were to dye paper as well. So I hope you will join me today in my kitchen as we use red roses in yet another way to capture the beauty of their natural color.
have been exploring natural dyes with paper for quite some time. So sharing is an exciting step here on Color Quest because I know that there are so many people out there who are using paper within their creative practices. And being able to see that we can treat paper very much like we do textile in terms of how we can pre-treat it with different mordants and how that will impact the color itself. Now, the paper I chose in today's video is called Wet Strength Tissue Paper, but you can try what we did today on any kind of paper that you might have in your studio. Watercolor paper works wonderfully. I also love mulberry paper. So experiment a bit with what you can do with paper inside of your dye pot. Also, I decided to repurpose some dye water that we got from last week's video, and that was when we did immersion dye with roses. And I took that rose water and added to it. Now, I wanted to compare it with a standard fresh water dye, and there wasn't much difference as you saw with textile samples, but it's always fun to try different things and to see if you might get a difference. So remember that dye water can be used more than one time. And so before tossing your dye into the sink, think about how you might be able to create a second or third dye. Guarantee it'll be different, but it's always wonderful to add some additional color to your dye palette. Now, next week on Color Quest, we're going to be looking at one more part of the rose, and that is the rose hip and I did some foraging locally in my neighborhood to gather some rose hips. So I hope you will join me as we look at what the rose hip brings to the dye pot. I wonder what color that will be. If you like what you see here, please hit subscribe and share the news about Color Quest. There's new content every Friday and it's all about natural color and how we can find it around us in our environments and create really beautiful things with it. Thank you so much for being here. This is Margaret Bird and I look forward to seeing you next time on Color Quest. Wait until the FedEx truck moves.